Welcome back everyone to another video. We're talking more about the GTA the trilogy, the definite edition. And in this one, we're gonna be going through every new detail. And there's a lot. The game looks amazing for originally a PS2 game. You look at the comparisons, you can definitely see a difference. If you don't, then I don't know what to say, because there definitely is a difference between the two. Starting off with the character models from GTA 3, Vice City to San Andreas. They look a lot different, and um, in my opinion, look amazing. So let's go through the enhancements in the trilogy. So they've updated the player experience, making it easier than ever to play these classic games, including a GTA 5 style controller layout, improved gunplay and targeting controls, with upgraded drive-by controls in GTA San Andreas, they've updated weapon and radio station selection wheels, updated minimap with enhancement navigation, allowing players to set waypoints to destinations, the ability to immediately restart a failed mission, because if you remember on the classic ones, once you failed, then you'll have to drive all the way back, and it was a right nightmare. So what I usually do, I'd save it just before I started it, so if you fail, just don't have to drive there. I just restart the save. <laughs> Plus, new Rockstar Games Social Club accomplishments for members. Enhanced visuals with improved graphics and fidelity across all three games, including higher resolution textures from characters to weapons, vehicles to roads, and much more for greater detail. A completely rebuilt lightning system with enhanced shadows, reflections, and more. Improved water and weather effects. Enhanced detail in trees and voyage, increased draw distances to provide a new level of depth and definition, plus platform specific features including 4K resolution support with up to 60 frames per second, performance for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X systems, Nvidia DLSS support for PC, touch screen camera zooming, pans and menu selections as well as gyro aiming for the Nintendo Switch. So those were the enhancements. So it all started in Liberty City. So you can go anywhere, jack anyone. GTA 3 puts the centre of criminal on the world at your fingertips if you have enough guts to take it. And then Vice City is in the 80s. One of the reasons why I love this game, with the story, the music, hopefully, if they have had to, not remove too many songs, because that's what really made Fire City for me, uh, the 80s theme, the music. Like, I wouldn't be too mad if they added new 80s songs, because um, I love all 80s songs, so I wouldn't be too mad at that. So in Fast City, you play as Tommy Facetti, tale of betrayal and revenge in the neon-soaked tropical sprawl of Fast City, a town brimming with excess, ready to be taken over your way. And then, San Andreas is the early 90s. After a couple of cops frame him for homicide, CJ is forced on a journey that takes him across the entire state of San Andreas to save his family and to take control of the streets. I wonder if the two-player icon will be there in San Andreas. I don't, I don't see why they would have removed it. Because um, it was a nice little thing to have where if you've got someone at your house, you want to just go around you two in San Andreas, attacking people or whatever. You can both do that. And it was actually quite fun. So hopefully they haven't removed that because it's always good to have an option. But the screenshots we've seen look incredible. And I can't wait for this to come out November 11th. Also, there's a few more games coming out in November as well. But anyway, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and also hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload. And I'll see you in the next one.